welcome to Third Grade Clay at Coe College. This is a marvelous exhibit each year that involves the collaborative efforts of both Coe College and the Cedar Rapids Community School District. Over 1,200 students in third grade across Cedar Rapids have their work in these galleries here at Sinclair Auditorium. I am Linda Blacksmith, and I used to be an art teacher who had clay projects for my students here in these galleries as well. Now, I am the docent for the exhibit, and I will take you on a little tour of all of these beautiful artworks done by our third graders in Cedar Rapids. The first exhibit is from Viola Gibson School with art teacher Marty Brown. They created slabs with winter scenes of snowmen and subtractive carved skies in the background. The glaze pools beautifully in the background and the students put in their own details. Now you're seeing Monsters from Monsters, Inc. Actually, these students at Truman Elementary with Kathy Houston, art teacher, created their own monsters for a Monster Inc. interpretation. Look at all of the color and uniqueness of every single sculpture. Nixon Elementary says the sky is the limit and they are all taking off in their own hot air balloons. These are created with slabs and pattern is extremely important, both subtractive and additive patterns. They even created patterns in their baskets and their self-portraits. Now you're looking at a whole class of hedgehogs. Jackson Elementary with Chris Tilgis created these little hedgehogs, each one made out of a pinch pot, and then they pinched the little faces. If you look really closely at them, they have a wonderful glaze on the backs of them, and then these very unique little tiny hedgehog faces. Penny Hancock and her third graders from Hiawatha created an entire neighborhood of house reliefs. They're created with slabs and lots of varied windows, doors, roofs, and patterns. They even used a unique resist system in order to create all of the vibrant colors with oil pastels and an ink overlay. Aren't they beautiful? I'm in the midst of angry birds and pigs. Hoover Elementary third graders with Amy Leicher were inspired by the Angry Birds game. And so they created their own characters and painted them in very unique ways. Kenwood third graders decided to celebrate the Day of the Dead and learn about the celebration that Mexican and Latin American children often celebrate. The art teachers at Kenwood, Barb McCuskey and Ryan Fisher, worked together on this project. They created sugar skulls and marigolds, both sculptural and relief, and painted them as well as use special colorful markers, just as the students in Mexico do to create their sugar skulls. Barb McCuskey and her third graders at Johnson were studying about Van Gogh. They were inspired by the sunflowers. You can see all of the bright colors of the sunflowers and the cool colors in the background. If you think you're seeing the Mona Lisa, or Starry Night through these windows, you just might be right. Heather Mesher and her third graders at Erskine Elementary created windows out of clay, and then they actually painted their favorite artworks inside, so we're looking through the window to see the art. I'm surrounded by minions from Madison School. Kathy Houston and Amy Leicher, their students, created minion sculptures. You can see all of the incredibly different poses that they've created. I can picture them jumping up and running around at any moment. I'm surrounded by a beautiful bed of flowers from Van Buren School and Lisa Pancook's third graders. Notice that each flower is unique and has great detail. It has created, been created from slabs which have been put together and lots of things added to them. 
Homeschool students created slab wall pocket pots. You can see how they are both beautiful and functional. They created these with Kathy Duesenberg at Wilson School. Art teacher Leslie Panos at Arthur School had her students create shoes. I don't see a single pair, so every one of these must be unique. They were all made out of slabs and they have shoelaces and felt tongues included. Who let the dogs out? I think the third graders at Pierce did with Dee Hubler as their art teacher. They studied the designs and patterns of Henry Matisse as well as several clay techniques, slab for the dog houses and modeling to create every unique dog in their own little personality and positions. I'm in amongst more flowers in another flower garden. This one created by Heather Mesher and Lisa Pancook, who also teach at Garfield. Look at the detail. These were based upon a study of Georgia O'Keeffe, and you can see how if you zoom in, you can see the glorious, beautiful interiors of the flowers. Grant third graders look like they've been to Africa. The art teacher, Renee Riedich, worked really hard to teach the students about slab building and also adding lots of details. They created African masts with very unique designs and lots of additional things added. I feel like I'm in the sea. I see shells and starfish with beautiful glittering metallic colors. That comes because the art teachers, Renee Riedich and Chris Tilgis at Harrison School created their clay pieces and then had them raku fired outside. Grant Wood third graders with their art teacher Tamara Deligi created these face jugs or what I call them mug jugs and they created them using slabs wrapped around a pop can and then added all kinds of personal fun details that would make their crazy funny face on the front. Third graders at Taylor Elementary with art teacher Teresa Crawford created their fish based upon the book Swimmy by Leo Leone. It's about a little fish who's lonely until it meets another school of fish and they work together. You can see all of the beautiful fish textures and colors. Students at Wright Elementary with Gina Fisher, art teacher, were excited to learn about Keith Herring's Bodies in Motion. He, of course, is a, is a graffiti artist, but they created their Bodies in Motion on clay. You can see that they created patterns in the background of the slabs and then their Bodies in Motion on top. Ryan Fisher at Cleveland Elementary has created snakes made out of clay beads. They created their beads by creating slabs and rolling them. They also cut pieces, created little balls for beads, and then they attached them together. See the snake heads? Lynette Hauser at Coolidge Elementary was teaching her students about the difference between freestanding sculpture and relief sculpture. They all created beautiful butterflies, but some of them are standing on their tiny little legs and others are placed in a more relief format on the wall. 